Okay, I'm drinking my coffee here. It's about 8 or 9 in the morning. I didn't check the time. <clears throat> I'm watching all those things in in YouTube and, uh, you know, in the social media, whatever going on in the Middle East. The reason I'm related because all my relatives, all my brother, my sisters, my niece, my nephew, my relative, brother, aunts, uncle, friends, relatives, all of them in Israel. And some of them, they live actually in like Netivot, Be'er Sheva, Ashkelon, um, very, very close to the area that everything going on. I also have relatives in the north side, where is uh, uh, Lebanon and Israel changing um, airstrikes and uh, bombing and uh, rockets and Kassamim and, and wh whatever going <laughs> Let me tell you something. I lived long enough in Israel, okay? I grew up there. I grew up in a very, very good family uh, with many brothers and many sisters and with a lot, a lot of love, a lot of care. And with the years, when I grew up, I figure out in Israel themselves, there is like hundreds of levels of um, beliefs, uh, some Jewish Orthodox, some right, some left, some radical rights, radical left, some uh, even even people uh, from Nazareth and from Jerusalem and from Gaza coming and working in Israel. Now, most of them ran away because what's going on in the Middle East? So Israel don't have vegetables, they don't have products, they don't have uh, necessary things, and uh, they don't have also um, people that willing to work the jobs that Israeli typical don't like it, you know. Um, As a target individual, I absorb things way, way better than everybody else because uh, first, they put, from some weird reason, they put a watchdog that she is Russian Jews. I believe so, that she is Russian Jews, unless she's uh, Spanish from some place. I don't know. I never um, understood why I have a personal watchdog in the last 14 years. What's this watchdog? Watchdog basically uh, follow tracking remotely, um, following me, tracking me, monitoring me, snooping on me, listen to me, if dropping me, and so on and so on and so on. <laughs> no idea why she's doing that. Whatever, she can't even raise a cat. But I raised five kids by myself. She can freaking raise a pet. But she's still tracking me and monitoring and watching me go and freaking fight with the authority to tell him that she's some nut. Now, I got completely, completely to different subjects. Very, very naturally it's happened to me because there is zillion subjects out there. My point... Uh, First, <laughs> they keep saying it's a war, it's a war, it's a war, it's a war. <laughs> Give me a freaking break. War against who? Ag against children, against civilians, against uh, elderly men and elderly women, uh, some youth. A war against who? This is the most nonsense war I ever saw in my life. You know, in history, and history going uh, to write it down one day, I don't know, in 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, I don't care when. This is the most nonsense. First, everybody and every idiot and every stupid know that Israel was training the Mossad and Israel Shinbet Shabak 
המודיעין, סון אנד שון, ש"ג, הוא-אבר, דה בולשת ישראלי, פרסט, דה פוליס דר אין ישראל, אול אוף הם דה טרוריסטס. כן, זאת מה שהם קוראים לאימברו, המולשת הישראלית, החבלנים, שוטרים חבלנים, חבלנים, it's mean טרוריסט, שוטרים, it's mean פוליס. הבולשת הישראלית היא סיקרט סרוויס, פוליס סיקרט סרוויס. Now, why I'm talking, I'm trying to get to some point here. First, this video, the, this recording, it's not for everybody because people say, what, who, how, who, what, where, who, what. So, uh, m- 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 my point is, this is the most nonsense war. This is not a war. This is not a war. Eight billion people around the world uh, include leaders and king and queens and, and uh, prime ministers and so on and so on and so on in every country watching it and nobody can make a move. The most ridiculous, even UN giving a, a give up for two clowns, Israeli clowns, their one elder and one coin, who's sitting and convincing uh, things that not even exist. They put two clowns there, you know, Israelis, I think one of them elder and one of them coin, and in everybody who is not um, in the same opinion like them, They call him anti you know what you know if if humanity if humanity can't go to u n or to to organization big humongous organization for human rights, where they turn where they go where they go they try to resign. Uh, one of the wisest person there, I don't know his name, uh, to make him resign for, for his opinion, that he, for facts. He's saying the facts. He's putting facts. You know? And those two clowns trying to... Con- Now, beside that, there is that Rafael security system, that there are big, humongous things behind the scenes. They make freaking gazillion dollars. Uh, they have a facility in Asia, in Israel, in the United States, and they're running all the security, international security. They are corrupted. Wow. Big time, big time, big time. They're manipulated, they're corrupted, but do you think the world can handle that? No, the world not able to handle those corruption. They can't. They can't. Eight billion people, none of them able to handle those corruptions that is going on there. And now why I'm calling this war the most ridiculous things I ever saw in my life, the nonsense war. I'm not taking sides because first I live in the United States and I'm very far away from, from all my relatives and all my friends and all my uh, brother and sister and so on and so on. It gave me actually... Uh, point of view to see <laughs> the nonsense that's going on better than everybody else. I am dealing with zillion problem, my personal issue that I'm going through. But seeing what's going on there, I am laughing. I'm laughing because um, first, 20 years ago, 15 or 20 years, maybe more than 20, the Mossad and Shin Bet and Shabak and whoever they are, I don't even freaking know who they are. <clears throat> It's not the point. Uh, something to do with Israel facilities, something to do with Israel organizations, something to do with Israel to be exist, of course. Um, They are the one who trained the ISIS. They are the one who was working with ISIS. They are the one who trained the people that now consider Hamas 
and consider Hezbollah. That the one actually who uh, created, who helped to create. If they are Jewish or Muslim, I don't know, but they are Israelis. And all the rest is history. And now, why I'm calling nonsense war? It's not freaking a war. Uh, so they they got rid of probably, probably, probably 10, 12, 20 of uh, the Hamas activists, leader. Every Monday and Tuesday they say he's a leader, he's the commander, he's... How many leaders there is, like a freaking zillion leaders or what? Every two, three days. We got the leader of that and that. We got the commander of that and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't recognize name. We don't even remember their name. We don't care. We just heard that they got, every freaking week, they got some type of leader. It's probably some elderly man who's shaking to his bones uh, to try to save his freaking family. So the bomb's not going to freaking get them. So from 7,000 people that that what they are assuming that they've been killed and the world can see, the world seeing that every single day that the 7,000 people include children, include uh, uh, parents, include, include elderly people, include grandparents, include grandmother, include all of those, babysitter, worker, uh, people who were working in supermarkets, people who were working in uh, uh, facility, medicals, whatever the occupation, you know, whatever they freaking they are doing. Seven thousand. They say seven thousand. They are not even sure how many. <clears throat> Now, from all that, they found probably 20, 30, let's say max, max. I don't know. I am not following this because I can't remember names and I can't remember who is what. And that they connected to Hamas. Hamas being created by Israel. They needed those people because they needed that violent that game to to create chaos to create hoopla to create pr propaganda to create money every time that there is a issue like that terrorism in the region or something they get money they make money from every uh terrorism in the regime in the region so they make money every Monday and Tuesday. <laughs> when Israel, listen, be, be, between those chaos and between those bombing and between those rackets and Iron Dome and, and airstrikes and all those things, Israel living large, better than me and you, better than average American. I've been there. I visit there. I... I traveled there a few times to visit my family, to visit. They live way, way better than us. I mean, every average family there who is working nine to five, let's say, or something like this in the office, or they have a firm, or, or they have some, held some type of occupation or job, and they travel at least, at least four to five to six times a year to major exotic places like India, like Asia, like Thailand, like Australia, like New Zealand, like Kafrasin, uh, like Greek, like uh, uh, Europe, Budapest, Bucharest, just name it. They travel a lot. They travel. They never, never stay home. They always, always travel and travel large. The best hotel, the best places, the best. I'm telling you, average Israeli live way, way, way better than every average American. And I'm talking in uh, years that it's uh, peace and there is no bombing. And, I was few times there, and every time 
it was those bombing. It's mean. I start to feel, I told my relative, I feel like every time that I'm coming, they pick up a fight and they do airstrikes and the kasaming and the tilling and the missiles and the bombing and everywhere freaking whistling on the sky above our head. We was was freaking taking a walk in the marina in Tel Aviv and in uh, in uh, Bersheva in Ashkelon and we hear the whistle of the bombing. They got used to it already. They even ignore it. We was a few times in the beach there in Ashkelon or Ashdod or Oh, some were taking a walk there, and the bombing was whistling. We didn't even pay attention. We we just was mind our business, and that's it. Because they got used to it. Unless it's very very close. Unless it's very very dangerous. Unless it's very very um, in a massive way, and. In um, Mivtsaitan, I was in Mivtsaitan there during the Mivtsaitan for three months. For three months, the bombing didn't was stop. That for three months, I was shopping in the neighborhood um, shopping center there, and I heard the whistle, the the the, the missiles and the rockets, uh, rocketed and the kasamim was flying and whistling above my head when I'm freaking doing the shopping. And few time I needed to go to a Mamad bomb shelter or war shelter, whatever it's called in uh, every shopping center they have their Mamad that uh, you can run until those bombings stop. But um, I'm asking myself why Israel was looking for it. Why Israel looking for it? For two years, for two years, for two years, all the IDF girls sitting and watching um, those danger lines, I don't know how to say it in English. It's, it's <clears throat> I know how to do it in Hebrew, but I don't want it to use um, 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 too obvious um, too obvious world that it's related to army. Not that I know anything about it. It's just I don't want to use um, terms that they use in the army. But uh, uh, there is girls there that sitting in the office there or sitting on the line there, and they are reporting every move, reporting every move, every suspicion move, every suspicion move they are reporting. There is a move here, such and such, blah, blah, blah. There is an action going on, blah, 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 such and such. For two years they are uh, reporting it. Two years before the 7th of October, two years, they said there is some action going on. There is something suspicious. There is something suspicious. There is some action going on. And authority and facilities and so on and so on. Specifically, specifically, purposely, purposely, they ignored it. Purposely. Because they was part of it. They was part of it. And the Likud and the a radical right wing wanted wanted to get rid of the people who was against their form. They wanted. They didn't care about the people who've been hostage. They didn't care. They didn't care. You know why? Because all of them they are against their form. All this war, it's not even a war, it's a political, it's a civil things that's going on inside Israelis um opinions uh, everybody think differently there one like the radical rights and one like the radical left and one don't like this and don't like that and don't like orthodox Jews and don't like this Kabbalah and I don't like this uh, there is like hundreds of levels of different beliefs there 
and there is the uh, settlers, whatever they, their name, and there is those one that they are very, very orthodox. They don't, don't do certain things in certain days and rules, 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 rules. You know, <laughs> the most ridiculous thing is if Russia put herself in it and Iran put herself, have nothing to do with Iran, have nothing to do with Russia, have nothing to do with the Arabs country, have nothing to do with Jordan, with nothing to do with Lebanon, have nothing to do with nothing. It's just a an argument inside the, the Knesset, inside the parliament in Israel, that become ridiculous. That not war, that is nonsense. That not even a war, that is craziness. Now what Israel gained? Gained nothing, because now she doesn't, Israel don't have workers because most of the workers coming from Aza. She doesn't have uh, people who is in medical because a lot of them working in medical, a lot of them selling stuff in the supermarket, a lot of them, a lot of them doing cleaning, a lot of them doing buildings, a lot of them bringing uh, to flea market some their products if this is... Um, fruit, vegetables, so on and so on and so on. There is Ramallah, but uh, Ramallah, it's not enough because, um, yeah, Ramallah actually the main, if, if we're talking about the, the Muslim side, Ramallah, it's even humongous, more bigger than us. I don't know why they pick up on us all the time. But uh, I myself don't understand that chaos and that uh, subject. It's so complicated. It's extremely, extremely, it's extremely complicated. Extremely complicated. And everybody say their side is right, their side is right, whatever. I'm not saying none of the side is right. I'm not saying none of them they are angels. A lot, a lot of the things that happened in the 7th of October was staged by the radical right wing. Because the radical right wing, they did it, they planned it in a time that they are in the Knesset, in the synagogue, when they are praying to God and dancing and doing their holiday and party. When the other one who is not doing that the Jewish holiday, they was in a party celebrating in a festivals, and for that they they been killed. That how those radical right wing. You don't know those radical right wing. They're crazy people. They're crazy, crazy, crazy people. I'm not joking. I grew up with those people. I mean, my family come from the right wing, but they didn't was that uh, um, um, extreme. They didn't was that radical. They was uh, very mellow. They was very, uh, very, um, it's mean they compromise a lot, a lot of things. They didn't was that streaks about stuff. <clears throat> I don't know who was behind that. I'm telling you, Israel knew about it two years. For two years, Israel knew that something humongous is going to happen. For two years, they knew, because they was part of it. I'm not pointing my finger who spe specifically, um, because I don't know. I'm not involved in any things there. The only thing I'm assuming, because I came from there and I know how they think. I know how crooked and how ugly they can can, can be. And some people that working in facility there and some people working even in the media and even in close to the 
that that uh, field uh, they they don't know they don't know it's just a group of people who know about it and every time that they heard the, from IDF that there is uh, some suspicion movement or some something going on that they are that they are spotting something in the civilian, they are spotting something going on in the last two years, that people, group of people, <clears throat> um, doing, uh, preparing something. They had, the authority ignored it and ignored it. It's mean the, the army even and the military ignored it and ignored it and ignored it because there was part of it. And let me tell you something. Uh, in the background, a lot, a lot from the Mossad and Shinbet and the Modin, they speak perfect, perfect, perfect Arabic like the locals. They teach them to speak Arabic exactly, exactly like the locals with the dialect and the accent. And But as much as they teach them how to speak Arabic, they still have error when they speak Arabic. They don't speak exactly, exactly like people who are born as Arabic Muslim. So Hamas, probably, probably, probably 75 to 80 percent of Hamas, they are not uh, Arabs born. Some of them, they are probably from Uzbekistan or Pakistan or, or from Israel or from Russia or from I mean, beside that look at their eyes look at their hand their hands it's light it's not like typical Arabic like tan it's very very light and their eyes it's not the eyes of the Arabic eyes I saw few of them because they cover their face and they cover their body, you see the hand and the eyes. The hand and the eyes don't look Arabic, typical Arabic. They don't look like typical typical Muslims, you know, that they are like a little dark and a little tan and a little, you know. I'm sensing when, when they bring some Hamas uh, to speak on behalf of their group, I said that stage... That it's not real. That it's made up. That not real. The accent, the dialect, the the eyes, and the hands, it's not typical Arabic. A lot of them they have been interviewing YouTube, and they have the kafia, you know, they have the jlabia, the kafia around their head and around. They they cover their their face and the head because they are not Muslims. They are not uh, they are not they don't born Muslims. They are either Israelis who work for the Mossad, for the Shin Bet, for the Shabak, for the Modi'in, or for, uh, for for some group of people, a secret police or something like that. All this it's really really. <laughs> A uh, humongous, humongous, humongous mess because Israel playing the the both side. Israel playing the both side. I don't know what they get from it. I don't know. They get a zillion of snakes and and mice from it. That's what they get from it. Because when you freaking flatten a city like that, uh, you can imagine what you can get from there. Ticks, flies, um, all different of stuff. <clears throat> Who is making money from it? I think um, Rafael security system that they are ridiculous, the most ridiculous organization ever exist on face of earth. They took over United States, let's put it this way. They have like about 8,000 people who is working in Asia and in uh, America and in uh, Israel and some other countries, I don't know where. And they pick up on every second citizen because they make money. 
We need to watch dog him. We need to watch dog him. Why? Oh, we don't like him. Or oh, we don't like her. They're the most ridiculous. They're, they're watching me like a hawk. I'm not even a criminal. I don't have a, one one percent of a crime on face of earth. They're watching me because they're getting money. Here's the stumping. And they said the Nazis they are doing the pogrom and the Nazis they are doing the the uh, Gestapo. I have a, a personal Gestapo who live above me, hired by Rafael security system, the most ridiculous. First, let me tell you something. 75% of Rafael security system, they are illegal. They are not even American. They don't have green card. They steal your green card. They steal your legalization in the United States. They steal your benefit. They steal everything that you are standing for. But they are not legal. They cover for every illegal person working for them because they think they can get away with everything. They are Raphael security system. They are freaking international. They are not even American. They have some facility in different places. So what? You are not above the law, and I don't care what the heck is your name. You are not above the law. They are Rafael International Security System, and they think they can get away with everything, like those two clowns and UN. They think they can get away with everything because they are fucking Jews. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. They got Uzbekistan involved. They got Pakistan involved. They got Afghanistan involved. They got Russia involved. They, they got Ukraine involved. All Ukraine, they are freaking those lunatics who jumping with their, with their stramel, uh, what they call, bracelet. All Ukraine, they are those Orthodox Jews running the show there. They got uh, Russia involved. They got freaking Iran involved. Iran keeping looking at you guys. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? We're lucky that we have bread and milk in the store. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? There is a gazillion people in Iran. And all they want is to wake up in the morning, eat their breakfast, go to school, go to work, and come back in the evening, return home safe. And Israel picking up on them, picking up on them, picking up on them, picking up on them, picking up on them. I think jealous, uh, jealousy doing that. I think Israel jealous from... Israel don't like America. America giving and 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 giving. Not even one time I didn't see a video that Israeli stand in the video and say thank you America not even once not even one not even one video not even one them thanking Canada for stuff that America send Israel jealous very Israel have sickness jealous of America one Big time, big time, and jealous of Iran because Iran have all this nuclear, nuclear that Israel can dream on. Uh, Israel don't have um, the. Uh, Iran have a lot of genius people. They are, they are above genius. They are the most genius people. Uh, they they have more genius than all the world together in science. They are extremely, extremely, extremely. Um, they are, I think, 
they're, they're scientists in Iran, they're the most, most, most um, smart people in the world. And that little Israeli teasing them and teasing them and teasing them and teasing them and teasing them. And come on, if I was the leader in Iran, a freaking bomb Israel freaking hundred years ago. Just for this teasing. All the time, the prime minister or the, the minister of defense flexing their muscle. Come on, get me, come and get me, come and get me, come and get me, come and get me. It's not that I'm agreeing the regime of what's going on in Iran. I don't agree to nothing there. But um, leave them alone already. If they're Democrats or not Democrats, it's not a freaking problem. Leave them alone. If they want to be Democrat, they be Democrat. If they don't want to be Democrat, don't be Democrat. I don't care. But they are teasing Russia, they are teasing Ukraine, they are teasing United States, they are teasing UK, they are teasing um, Australia, they are teasing uh, Asia. That little puny, little tiny Israel that you don't find in the map, teasing all the planet. And we're sick of it. Every time, every Monday and Tuesday, they need dramatic uh, uh, something because they're making money. We need, we need more money. Here, it's another terror. We need money. Here, it's another terrorism. Here, we need money. Here, it's another terrorism. We need money. They're the one who causing it. They're the one who creating it. They're the one who starting it. They have people from every corner in the planet. They have people everywhere. If they want to start a war, they have people in, in Aza themselves working for them. If there is something that um, I can convince, it's Israelis. <laughs> You go and tell them that the sky is blue and not pink and not green, they freaking don't believe you. Because this is the way they want to believe, that the sky is pink, that the sky is green, even that you are showing them that the sky is blue. Egypt not getting involved because they know that they are freaking... Uh, uh, they learned their lesson from 67, from 73, from all these years that they uh, experienced those issues with Israel. They knew. They knew uh, this is a nonsense... Uh, nonsense... Uh, conflict with Israel. Nonsense war. <laughs> Uh, is this a war? I don't think so. This is not a war. A war, uh, usually it's military with military, okay? You're fighting uh, because a military attacked the country, so another military attacked the, the next uh, country. But this is not a war, because basically you killed 7,000 children, elderly, a grandpas and grandma and and uh, women and men and youth and toddlers when you catch maybe 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 12 or 20 fake uh, Hassan, uh, Hamas uh, Every Monday and Tuesday they say it's leader. How many leaders they have? They're underground. How they know who is the leader, who is not? That bullshit. People underground because they're running from the bombs. People are underground is because they're trying to get medical treatment. People underground because they're trying to survive, to live, to run away from the bombing. 
because this is their shelter. The way Israeli grew up is to head uh, Palestinians, to head them, to head them, to head them in in a. We, to hate them because they are Palestinians, not because... To hate them like they are not human. Like they don't have the right to live or breed or eat or, or buy or sell or work. This is the way Israelis, especially the, the right wing. The right wing grew up to hate Palestinian since they was babies. This is the way they teach them to have uh, the way the the way the right wing in Israel, the Jewish right wing, I grew up with them. I know how is it. That's what they're telling us in school. They are not exist. For for Israeli right wings, Palestinian they are they're not human, they are not exist. They don't have the right to live. They don't have the right to breed. They don't have the right. They are not exist. They are not human. That, that what they teach Israelis. That f for us, if they die, so what? They are not exist. It's like if you come to. Israeli right wing and say, you know, five, five thousand, five hundred little children die and buried under the rubbles and blah, 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 blah. Who? What? Oh, them. Oh, who care? That the way they raised, that the way they been educated, that the way they grew up, like like they teach the Palestinian, hate the Jews, kill the Jews. In Israel, they teach the Israeli right wing. For us, Palestinians not exist. They don't have the right to breed or live. I'm not saying that their side is uh, all angels and all right. I don't know a lot about them because I didn't grow up with them and I don't have an idea. I was in Aza when it was peace time. I was in Aza a few times, bought a few things from the flea market when I was young. I was a young mother and I bought a few things from there. Back then I was very excited. They treat me very, very nice and they give me, oh, you can take it, you can take it, you can take extra, it's okay, it's okay. They was extra nice, and I didn't even ask for it. But um, um, Israel picked up the, uh, the, the fight because they like to do that. Israeli love to do that. They like to pick up a fight. They love to do that. It's in their blood. They love to be the person who is always right. They like to be the person who is always the winner. They're like that. Because they raised and they grew up thinking that they are the chosen people, so they have extra tail and they have the right for everything. Chosen people of what? Chosen people of picking the fights and wars. It's okay. You know what? You're chosen people. So what? So be it. You'll be chosen people. But it's not mean that uh, you can uh, uh, cause chaos around the world and nobody give a rats and nobody know what to do. Nobody know what to do. Nobody, nobody. A zillion meetings in different facilities, in different places, and different uh, here and there and around the world, and nobody know what to do with that little nation who's causing all this chaos for something that they stage for freaking fake war.
I'm not sure how that thing's going to end up, but um, Americans that are there now, there is like uh, troops of Americans that are going there and one jet, the American jet is bigger than, of all Israel. I don't know if even Israel have have places for their jet. Because Israel is so tiny and their American jet, they are humongous. I don't know if even have a place to put those jets. And why America going there with all the flies and snakes and mice and ticks and all that? crap that's going on there right now beside the heat and beside the sand and dust and whatnot i don't know i don't know why they're doing it because there is in the lobby people that they think they are known everything and smarter than everybody else I'm not saying the Jews, they are not smart, they are very, very smart people, but don't convince uh, half of the world to go and fight in a little tiny puny uh, country that freaking you can't even find in the map. That nonsense, like <laughs> freaking zillion troops went to <laughs> to Israel. I don't know if they have a place to sleep there. What hotel they are going to stay? What what, what city? What, what in the desert? There is no Sahara there. They better go to Sahara to practice. It's even better if they go to Sahara. It's better to practice there than practice in Israel. You know, the Sahara the Desert, you know, they have more place there. Why they're freaking going to little puny country that they barely have a place to put a tank or a jade? I think it's ridiculous whoever did whatever it did. It's just the lobbyist and just uh, uh, there is people out there in the top the convincing all the planet that half of the world need to freaking fight in Israel. If Israel knew how to keep peace with all the neighbors, with Lebanon and Jordan and Egypt, and not creating the Hamas and the Hezbollah and uh, the ISIS, by the way, that they are um, um, not from this planet, what they did in ISIS. It's not, it's not even from outside of this planet what they capable of doing. The, the, the disgusting, 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 disgusting things that they t told them and trained them to do. Even even a human not able to comprehend what they're capable of doing. Yes, an Israeli behind that. The Mossad, the Mossad, I don't know how much the Mossad have population right now, but I don't care. I, they, they used to do stuff that 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 humanity can't even comprehend what they are capable of. And all that, uh, how you know all that, how you know all that, you're probably asking yourself, what you're talking, what you're blabbering, what, who are you, what's your name, what's your face? I don't, you know, don't want to put my face, don't want to say my name. I know what I know from what, the way I grew up there. I figured them out. You know, it's like one plus one. You figure out what is one plus one. That's what I figure out about them. They're corrupted. Israel nation, it's a mafia. Israel nation, it's organized crime. The right wing, it's organized crime. There is a few people I don't want to say. First, I don't know how to pronounce their name, and I don't want to say their name, but I wish one day somebody put few of them in jail that they are pulling the string behind the scene. 
they deserve to be punished, but nobody can even get close to them. Nobody can touch them. All the right wing, the, especially the extreme, the radical right wing, it's freaking organized crime. They are. Some of my relatives are in Shabak and, and, uh, and uh, Modi'in and Mossad and blah, 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 and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. All those are freaking... They talk with you, yes, what you cook today and what you ate today and what you prepare, what, what cake you did, what cookies you did, and blah, 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 all this nonsense little talk, you know. But uh, but underneath all that, there is everything, it's, it's uh, rotten, rotten inside, disgusting. Maybe they have a plan to build something in Aza, I don't know. Maybe they have a plan, I don't know. I don't know if this is from the Arab side or from the Israeli side. Maybe they have a plan to build, because Israel always was jealous of um, American Disneyland. They always, always, always was jealous of American Disneyland and they always was jealous of Iran because they're nuclear. Israel as a nation have problems, a lot of them, ton of them, zillion of them. Most of them, most Israeli actually, they don't even live in Israel anymore. They live in Germany, in the United States, in, in England, in, um, in Europe, in some of them even in Asia, and some, some, a lot of them in Thailand, a lot of them in uh, Australia. You can find all of them all over the world, even in Brazil. <laughs> Poor Russia. Now Russia got involved with all that, have nothing to do with Russia, but they got involved with Russia. You know, the PM of Israel, since he was the PM, since he was in the military, I think since he was in a, in the government somewhere uh, in some stage in his life uh, he wanted he wanted uh, to beat america i don't know what's what's this about him is something wrong with him not him specifically not him personally not him specifically uh, the the party that is involved with it's like He's like he's flexing his muscle all the time. I'm the strongest. I'm the biggest. I'm, I'm this. I'm that. Uh, whatever. Don't know how long he is going to be PM, but this is not my point. Uh, if he is not going to be a PM anymore, somebody worse than him going to come. Anyway, this war, it's nonsense war, it's not even a war. It's like some political issues going on between the right and left, especially the radical right and radical left, and all that come from there. It starts with that. And yes, they knew about two years, from two years, the radical right wing knew about what's going to happen. Everything was stages, everything fake. They knew what's going to come in October 7th. They was preparing for it. The in this why nobody was standing there because they was part of it.
And time will say, you know, let the people uh, digest and uh, and uh, talk about it for another century. And they they got to know that Israel was part of it. 